Hi guys, I just wanted to sit down and do a video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a baby haul. It's mostly clothes, but then I'm gonna show you also like some baby gear and accessories that I've gotten. Um, oh, and then I'm gonna show you the diaper bag and like just like a few little things like that. So I'm still purchasing things. I just wanted to sit down and show you what I have so far and I will link everything down below as well. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with like onesies and pajamas. I was feeling really conflicted on what sizes to get, and I'm sure a lot of new moms feel this way. Um, but I was like, do I get more three to six months? Do I get more zero to three months? And really everybody has different answers. The ma majority are saying to get a few newborn outfits because they grow out of those within a, like a week or two. And then, I don't know. So I've kind of tried to do like half and half. I'm doing a lot of zero to three months and then I'm doing more three to six just because I want her to be able to grow into those. And I really focused the three to six month closing to be like the more expensive and nice ones because I'm, if I'm gonna spend a lot of money on it, I want her. This is where the video cut me off, but here's the second clip. Okay, so as I was saying, I want her to grow into the more expensive things rather than grow out of them super quickly if I'm gonna spend more money on it. So anyways, let's get started. Um, first I just have some stuff that I got from Old Navy. They usually have pretty good deals going on. For me, it's hard to find the style that I like there, but there were a few things that me and my husband grabbed. So we grabbed these little onesies. They just look like this. I believe they were $8. They might've been cheaper too. So I got a pink one and then I also got a blue one. I thought those were cute. I am gonna have a summer baby, so I am trying to focus more on like the short sleeves because it gets pretty hot here. Um, and then I got some jammies from there and these were also $8. And I just got this cute little tie-dye one. I thought the tie-dye was super cute. It has the two-way zipper and for $8, that's a really good deal because I've mostly found that with these zippered ones, they're like $20 and above. And then they also have like the little fold over mittens for their hands. So I got this one and then I got this little baby elephant one, which was cute. So I think that's all I got from, oh wait, actually I got this too. Well, Alonzo really wanted this. <laughs> we got this like snowsuit um, for next winter when she can grow into it just because it was so cheap and normally it's like 50 bucks. And I think we got it for like $12. So we got this. Obviously she's not gonna fit in it until like she's like six to eight months old, but we do have it. So those are the only things we got from Old Navy. Um, and then I'm gonna move on to this shop called Kate Quinn. I've been loving shopping from this shop. I have bought so much stuff. Okay, not like so much. I do want to buy more. <laughs> Um, but the style of the clothing is totally the style I love and it's really affordable because I've just noticed like a lot of the styles that I like are so expensive, like 20 to $30 per item. And like, sometimes I'm willing to pay it, but not for like every single item. So I'll start off with the jammies that I got from there. This is what the tag looks like. I got these in zero to three months. This is like a lavender set. It also zips up. It's kind of like a ribbed material. And then it has the same mittens to fold over their hands. So I got this really cute lavender one. And then I also got this kind of like mustard yellow. And those are super cute. The quality is really good. I do think this was the most expensive thing I got, which they were $19. But I've been looking at, what are they called? Kite Baby, and Kite Babies are even more expensive, so these were pretty good for that. I am gonna order more and more colors. 
Um, and then I got a lot of three to six month onesies in this brand. So I got this one. You will see this color a lot. I really love this color. And then I didn't realize how much stuff I bought in this color. Alonzo makes fun of me because he's like, she can't just wear that color. I'm like, okay, fine. But I got this one. This is a short sleeve one. She can grow into that. I got this mocha color, which is really cute. These are all gender neutral too. And then more of this color. <laughs> I got a long sleeve. This is kind of like that kimono type style that's like buttons on the side. And then I also got this romper in a three to six months so she can grow into it. It is a little bit bigger, uh, but obviously I think she'll be wearing more of these type of things when she's a little bit bigger, just cause when they're like newborns, you're not really putting them in rompers. Um, and then I also, sorry, I'm just digging through my pile. Okay, I think the last few things I got from this shop is, I got this little sunsuit. So these are the bottoms. And this is the top, so it's, it has like the little tank. It's all ruffled. It will look like this on her little body. Uh, this is so cute since she is gonna be a summer baby and we do have a pool um, We like to go out to the pool. So I got her this cute little swimsuit. She can wear out there. It's like a peacock Print, I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's so cute I also ordered her a sun hat from H&M and that is still coming But it's like a little white sun hat and I think it's gonna be really cute with this Um by the way, these onesies were all like $10 each, which was a really good deal. And then I ordered these. I knew I was either going to hate or love this, but I do want to like dress my baby a little bit more edgy because that's just my style. And that's Alonzo's style. So I got these little shorts and they're in a snake print. I think they're so cute. I love prints. I love animal prints. Um, cheetah, leopard, snake, zebra. I love the prints. So I got these and I think they'd be really cute with like a little onesie underneath, a little, a little edgy baby. And I believe these were only like six bucks, which is crazy because the material is so good and they're really unique. So I got those. And then I also got a matching bib because I just think a printed bib on like some basic outfits will be cute. So I got the snake print bib in the same material. And then I also got the peacock bib that matches the sunsuit. I think I like this material a little bit better. This one's kind of more stretchy and this is more of like a structured cotton. So I am going to order more colors in this one. They do have a bunch of colors and I think these bibs were only like $6 as well. So that's what I got from Kate Quinn. Super cute. I am going to order more things. Like I said, I'm going to order more of the pajama pajamas, probably more of the onesies and more of the bibs. So everything, but not any more of the sunsuits. The next place I want to talk about is H&M. So I have also been loving the H&M baby. They have better things online than when in store. So I found a few of these things in store. Actually, all of these things I have with me, I got in store, but I did order some more stuff online as well. Everything is really affordable. They have packs of onesies for like 24 bucks and you get like four of them. Um, they have cute little like ribbed pants. They have overalls, like a bunch of stuff, especially on their website. So I've been loving looking at their things just because the quality is pretty good. So I will show you what I got from H&M. This is where I focused on getting more of my newborn stuff. I do need to go out and buy more newborn stuff because I haven't gotten a lot. I still need to get her outfit that she's coming home into because I'm just not sure what I want her to wear just yet. Um, but I got these little, these came in a set of two, like a two pack. They are cute neutral colors that I think will go with everything. Uh, the thing about H&M is their sizing is so weird. It's, I don't even know. Usually they'll do like zero to three months, six to three to six months and so on. 
and H&M just really confuses me. So this size is newborn, which is considered one to two months, and then they do like two to three months, four to six months, I don't even know. Anyways, these are considered newborn. They are super, super cute. I love the colors of them. I think they'll look good with any of the onesies. Um, I think if she grows out of these quickly, I probably will buy more in bigger sizes just because you got two for $9, which is a really good deal. And I think they'll go with everything. So I got those. Um, and then I got a lot of my white onesies from here just because they were affordable. Everything came in packs. So I got a pack of two of these. They just look like this. Um, these are the button ones. I've been trying to stay away from more of the button ones because I've heard just having the zippers way easier. But I am going to get a few button ones. So I got these ones. This is also in the newborn size. Pretty basic. And then Alonzo and I went in store for a little bit and grabbed a few things. And this is some more stuff we grabbed. So these have like the little drafts on it and then they have like a yellow one. I thought these were cute. They were a really good deal too. I think it was like buy two, get one free. So we used that a part of the buy two, get one free. And then I got some just like plain onesies that button up on the bottom that don't button up like on the side. And these are in a bigger size. The other ones were newborn. These ones are the three months sizing is what they say. So she will wear these when she's a little bit bigger. And I think these are essential. Those will go with everything. And for a pack of two of those, I think also was like $9. So it's a really good deal for the packs you get. And then um, we got these little baby socks as well. Alonzo <laughs> couldn't leave without them. He thought they were so cute. They match like the ribbed pant colors. And we also got the newborn size in these. And I think it will be really great because um, I've heard we can like use little baby socks as mittens too when they're born. So we can double these as socks and mittens. And I really like the colors. So we got those and we got a pack of three different ones for $5.99. So it's not too bad. And then I wanted a white like a cute white beanie and this came in a pack and it has like the gray and the white i really wanted the white one um 4.99 you get two of them i just think this one is super cute i've noticed a lot of the beanies have this have the weird like top and, or they're like elf shaped and i don't like the shape of them so i really like how this is like really cute and rounded and so we got those um and then lastly, this is kind. Of, this is actually not a part of H and M, but it was just kind of in the pile I had. I got these at Target. I think it's just the Carter's brand, and they're just these like little booties. They're really cute. I couldn't resist, so I got these, and I think these were like four dollars or something like that. Okay. Next, oh, I found these socks too. So I, these socks, I got these knee-high socks as well because they've just seen super cute outfits of like onesies and then like the knee-high socks. I got these from Kate Quinn as well. I actually forgot to include those in the other pile that I had. These were like $3 and they have a bunch of other colors so I might grab some more but yeah, I got these as well. Okay, now I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Now I'm gonna move on to um, another shop. It's called Little One Shop. I think Little One Shop Co. or something like that is their Instagram app. Anyways, I'll link them down below. These ones are also really affordable. They don't have a bunch of options on their website. They just have like mostly just like these ribbed one suits and then like a few like bare sweatsuits i think so they don't have a lot of options but for like these ribbed one suits oh and they have matching pants for these two but i didn't grab any they're a really good deal so these are ten dollars the quality is really good they're super cute i love the little buttons i love the color of this one they do have the matching pants which i'm probably going to get i just wanted to get these first and see if i liked them so i got this one i got it in the zero to three month sizing um but then when i look at the tag it just says three months and i don't know if it's gonna be too 
big. So she might, it might be more of like a three to six month sizing. So we'll just see about that. And then I also got like another brown shade as well. So those are really cute. They're $10 each. I will link those down below as well. And that's all I got from that shop. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I keep finding more Kate Quinn stuff. I guess I got more things than I thought. Another Kate Quinn, Quinn item are these little velvet bloomers. I thought these were super cute as well. I think these were like six bucks and they're so cute. I got these in the zero to three month sizing as well. Okay, next thing we have, I'm gonna move on to our Zara products. So we haven't gotten a bunch of stuff from Zara, just a few things really, and it was when they had their sale going on. Zara is so expensive and also, in our Zara in store, they really have this like really small baby section and it's usually just like a few items. So what we have gotten has just been online. And like I said, it was when they had their sale going on. So we got these pants. I think these are in the three to six months. Okay, one to three months, I guess. This looks kind of big for one to three months. But we got these little like they're kind of like polka dotted pants and they have like a little button. These are really cute. I don't remember the pricing of these and I don't even know if they will still have them because they were on sale. Then we also got these little bloomers. They are like a knitted bloomer, the same cute little buttons. Really cute. And I think, yeah, those are also in the one to three month sizing. Then I just grabbed this shirt since it was so cheap. And this is also one to three months. It has like a really nice soft material. That is cute. You could go with some of the, oh, I know I grabbed this shirt. I grabbed this shirt to mask, match this because I thought it would look cute together. This is in the same sizing and this is like, like a little romper bloomer. So this one is really cute too. And we got that one on sale. I bought another romper. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's behind me. This is another romper. This one we paid full price for because I just couldn't resist it. And I think it was actually the first item I bought for her when I found out I was having a girl. I went out and just like bought a few items. And I guess this could have been for a girl or a boy, but whatever. This one was right like $20 and I think they might still have it available on their website because it wasn't a part of the sale. But it's this cute, just like little overall romper. I got this one in three to six months because I think she will just look cute when she grows into that. That one is super cute. I talked about that one on my Instagram and died over it. And then we also got these. This is the last thing we got from Zara, which is just some, oops, the tag is in there. Just some little velvet pants with a bow. They're super cute. They have like the little ruffle at the bottom. And yeah, that's everything we got from Zara. Um, okay, and then I just have a few random things left. I found some things that I had gotten from Old Navy that I didn't include. Um, this is the zero to three months, just like black leggings that I got from Old Navy as well with the other stuff. These were $5. I think it's just cute to have like a simple pair of black leggings for her and then this one i can't remember i think this was like 30 percent off the original price which was like 20 bucks and it's just this like cute little white romper has like the detail in the middle i think this will be really cute on her in the summer and i got this a zero to three months so she could wear it in the summer so that one is really cute I think it will look cute with her sun hat that I ordered as well. Okay, and then the last clothing item, I think. Oh wait, no, girl. I have a few more things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, um, this is an outfit that Alonso bought for our baby during Christmas time and at this time we didn't know the gender and he really just wanted to have our baby included in our Christmas so we like wrapped a few things 
um, we had like we got had gotten our stroller at that time because it was on sale and then he bought this little outfit for her so we were really thinking or he was thinking gender neutral <laughs> but it kind of leans more towards like a boy or whatever I think she'll still look cute in it so this is zero to three months these are the pants they're really cute they have this like um, quilted print on it and then they have like the matching sweater and he got this from cotton on kids i believe and they have actually have different colors too so this is really cute it's i the color is actually really cute because i have stepped with like a specific range of colors and i think this is a cute color to kind of add into the mix so we got that um the next thing is these are just sleepers so my mom actually ordered a bunch of these for me which is awesome i'm just going to show you a few so they look like this i think she got them off amazon and they have like the open bottom for their legs so it's easy to change them so it's kind of like a knotted gown but it doesn't tie at the bottom and these sleep gowns are just really great um when they're younger and they need a bunch of diaper changes and you have to change them a ton so she got me like two packs of those with different prints which is awesome so i got those and then lastly she also got me these big pack of gerber onesies these are all in newborn sizing so they're so tiny look how small they are and these are really nice to have at the beginning when they're still really small just have like a bunch of the white onesies that you can change them into so she got me that and then I got these the other day. I caved, okay. They are like 40 bucks. I did get a discount on them, but I really didn't know if I wanted to get these or not. And I especially just didn't know if I wanted to get them in such a small sizing. Just because people are like, don't get your baby shoes until they're like six to nine months old. Don't get them baby shoes until they're a year old, until they start walking, crawling, whatever. And I was like, you know what? I know I'm gonna want to put her in these and at least take a few cute photos and then we can have these forever as memories anyways. So I, I caved, I bought them. Um, I did get a deal on them. They're the baby Air Force Ones. They're so cute. Um, this is the size, they don't, it's like the baby ones. So they're not, it doesn't have like the hard bottom for them to walk in. It's just meant to be a baby shoe. These are the size two, which is three to six months. So yeah, I plan on, she obviously is only going to wear these sometimes, maybe when we take her out or like for photos, but I think they're so adorable and I don't regret buying them and I'll probably buy her more just as she gets older. So yes uh lastly i'm just going to show you like three jackets we got and actually two of them are for zara, from zara that i i keep forgetting to include a few things in them so when i was talking about the zara stuff these are also a part of it so got this cute little guy um just like a little button Sweater. It's not too thick where I feel like she could wear this in the summer, like summer nights where it has like a little bit of a breeze. I really like it. It has the little, not the pom-pom on the head too, which is super cute. So I got this. This was also a part of the sale. And then Alonzo was obsessed with this jacket. He watched it online, just like go cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And then he purchased it for like a really good price. I think this jacket's originally like 50 bucks, which is a lot for a baby jacket. Um, but it's just this one right here it has really nice fur inside, button closure, and I think this is in six, either three to six, oh no, six to nine months. So again, it will work for next winter for her. But yeah, that was super cute and he got a good deal on it. And then lastly, this is something that my mother-in-law bought us. Um, she got this little baby North Face jacket. Right now is like the best time to get these jackets because everything is starting to like, we're going into summer so things are going on sale. And so yeah, this is really, really cute. Um, we love a North Face jacket. And I think, yeah, she also got that in six to nine months. 
And just to add on to that, this is the hanger that is hanger, hanging all of this stuff. I actually got these at Ikea and I had been searching for these wood ones. I was looking on Amazon, Target, like everywhere online. And then I went into Ikea and I got like a pack of like four of them for like three bucks, I think. So I ended up getting like 20 or 25 of them and it was only like 20 bucks. And it was a really good deal because they were more expensive on Amazon. And I love the wood. So yeah, got those as well. Okay, that is officially it for clothing. I'm just gonna move on to my diaper bag. A little bit of accessories I've gotten so far. I'm going to get more obviously. And then I'm just gonna show you like like a few baby gear items too. So I'll show you the diaper bag. This is the diaper bag we went with. Um, it's the Azaria La Mer original size. They have a luxe size, which is bigger, and then they have a petite size. We decided to go for the original sizing uh, just because that's what best suits us. I was somewhat thinking of doing the petite sizing, but then as I was wearing it and realizing it was just too small and I wanna have enough space in here. So it's all vegan leather. They do have um, real leather options that are more expensive, but we just got the vegan leather. When you open it, it looks like this. So it has the nice material. If anything spills in it, you can just wipe it down. It has a lot of little compartments in there. And then it does have like the magnetic closure in the front. It's all blacked out and I really love it. I love that it's a more classic diaper bag. Like I love the blacked out look of it. I love the look of it. It could like be a purse. Um, and I also love the idea that Alonzo can wear this and he will look really good in it. So yeah, we went with this one and we really like it. I got it at Baby Cubby. If you live in Utah, it's an American Fork and they carry all of the Azaria backpacks there. Um, sorry, diaper bags. They do have other brands as well, and I had looked into all of the other brands. I didn't want to get Fawn Design. Um, I don't know. There's something about the Fawn Design that looks really tacky to me. Even though it's kind of similar to this, I just think this one looks a little bit classier. So, But I know Fawn Design is a really popular brand that a lot of girls like to get, or moms, parents, whatever and they do carry that there as well so the original sizing is about 150 dollars the petite sizing is 120 and then i think the grand is like almost 200 it's just because it's larger and then if you get the vegan i mean not the vegan leather leather if you get the real leather that one i'm not gonna lie it looks really nice but i don't know it's it's like 300 dollars, and i'm not spending that on a diaper bag so this was the one we went with. I love it. Um, just for like a few accessories with the diaper bag. Well, not necessarily with the diaper bag, but just a few random accessories. So far, I've only gotten one swaddle. I do plan on getting more. I think I want a Mimi Baby swaddle. They're stretch swaddles. And this is the Solly Baby. Um, the material is really nice and stretchy. I don't think I'm gonna get any of the muslin swaddles. I think I'm gonna try to stick to the stretch ones and hopefully my baby likes them. Uh, if not, I will try out the muslins later. I'm also not gonna buy a shit ton of swaddles. I am gonna buy the love to dream swaddle, which is like the up swaddle that everyone gets. And then I'm gonna buy like two of these and I'm gonna stick it to that. I don't feel like it's necessary for me to have a ton of them. Um, that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I will need more, but I'm gonna have like a simple camel one from Maybe Baby that I'm purchasing. It should get here soon. And then I got this printed one because I thought this was really cute. So we have those swaddles. Um, okay, I'm really excited about this next item. It is a changing mat. It looks like this. It's also another vegan leather purchase. This one is the brand K K 
Karen. Karen. C A I R N. <laughs> Not like a bitchy Karen. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yes, so I got this off Amazon. I think it was around $22. I know the gather mats are really popular as well. I'm not sure the pricing on the gather mats because I just didn't look at those. Um, I think they are more expensive. I just took this recommendation from someone and got this one off Amazon and it's just as great quality as the gather mats. And I'm really excited to use that. So that's something that will go in the diaper bag, in our diaper caddy at home. You can change them anywhere on this and you can just wipe it off since it is that leather. So really excited about that purchase. I've heard really good things about it. So far, I've only gotten one binky. <laughs> um, I put a lot of my binkies on my baby registry and yeah, I'm just, I'm not worrying about like stacking up too much like at this moment i still have a few months to go and whatever is not purchased on the baby registry i obviously will just buy but i saw these ryan and rose binkies are sold out everywhere so are the bibs binkies and those are the ones i mainly have been wanting to get so i got this color just that baby cubby while i was getting the diaper bag and it's the tan color this is the sizing, the stage one sizing, so for newborns with no teeth. I think it's really cute. Um, and then I also got this little clip to go with it. And this clip was pretty affordable. I've noticed a lot of these clips are around like $20 and this was like $11 and I think it's really cute. So obviously it just clips to their clothes. And yes, so I got one binky and clip. I do plan on getting more as well. But that's what I have so far. Um, so that is mostly it for like clothing, accessories, and diaper bag. Like I said, I still do have a lot to purchase, but I was excited to show you guys what I have so far um, and also just share some of the shops I've been shopping at because they are more affordable. Um, lastly, I just want to show like a few baby gear items that I've gotten. Uh, this one. This one is kind of a splurge and actually my um, my mom got this for me for my birthday. My birthday was like a month ago. It was something I really wanted and I'm super happy I was able to get it. So it comes in this box, this beautiful box and the brand is Artie Pop. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That is how you spell it. This is the brand. I think it's an Italian brand. And this is the case that it came in. So super luxe. Uh, they have a bunch of different prints. Sorry, I have to adjust myself. Um, they have a bunch of different prints to choose from. Like yin yang prints, leopard prints, velvet prints, um, croc prints really gorgeous prints and they are priced um from 300 to 700 dollars depending on which one you choose so this is the one that i got i think i'm gonna have to link the specific type down below i think the shade was like oat or something um so it's just this like cream color and then if you look really closely you can see kind of like this print on it it looks kind of like more of that like peacock feathered print and I thought it was really cute. I thought it was something that would go with a lot of outfits and also Alonzo could wear it and it wouldn't look crazy on him. Um, they have the really pretty gold accents. Um, it just buckles right here and buckles in the back so it's really easy to put on. And then it has their logo on the side. So this is really cute. Um, I think this one was $350, so it wasn't a part of the $700 range. I think the velvet ones and like the yin gang ones are more in that price range. But yeah, that baby carrier is super cute. I've heard really great things about it. Um, you can carry a newborn in it and then up to, shoot, I think it's like maybe up to 30 pounds. I will have to link that inf correct information down below. 
but it's something that I know we're going to use a lot. We're going to travel with, we're going to go on walks with, we're going to hike with, and so I'm really excited to have it. I know there's a bunch of other brands like Ergo Baby and the Bjorn Baby Carrier, and those are still like 150 to $200, and I don't like the look of them. I like how this is more of an accessory. Um, doesn't look like I'm wearing like a velcro baby carrier and that's just my personal taste. So I was like, okay, if I'm gonna spend 200 to $300 on something, like I'm gonna get something I really like and I've heard really, really great things about that. So super grateful I got that as a gift. Um, the next thing that I wanna show is actually over here. So let me go grab it real quick. Okay. This is the last thing that I'm gonna show. I do have, I wanna do a separate video of like breastfeeding stuff. Um, and then I also do wanna do like a separate video of like what stroller and car seat that we chose to get. I'm not gonna include that in this video. So lastly, we actually got this like really early in my pregnancy. I found out I was pregnant in October and I think we bought this in November for Black Friday because it was a really great deal. So we've had this for a while and this is the Snuggle Me. Sorry, it's upside down. So it just looks like this. Um, so it's similar to the Dockata if you've heard what that is. And basically the baby just can lay in it, lounge in it um do tummy time and if you're doing something it's a place a baby can lay in uh the baby can also obviously nap in here um monitored napping they cannot sleep in here so if they are sleeping in here just make sure you are with them but yeah i got this and i got the co the color natural i think which is just like an off-white color and they do have covers as well which i am going to get a few covers for this as well but really excited about that i've heard it's a great purchase to have too so that is pretty much it for this video um thank you guys for watching i plan on posting more videos of baby stuff and also probably a few get ready with me's so if you like these videos just subscribe and leave any comments below like the video, let me know what you guys want to see. I have a lot of fun talking about baby stuff now that I'm having a baby and I love making videos about it. So if there's anything specifically you guys want to see, um, just let me know. I was also thinking of doing a maternity outfits video, just showing you how to style the bump and um, yeah. So thank you guys and I will see you next time.